What does a sustainable food system look like to you? A beautiful garden with a bountiful harvest that demonstrates best practices to the community? That is what we're trying to achieve at the Gateway Science Museum Sustainability Gardens. Our demonstration garden has six raised beds totaling in 330 square feet, displaying a sustainable food system via a backyard garden. The garden activities have been designed to minimize the use of water, energy, and waste generation. The Gateway Gardens is being used for garden education, composting workshops, vermicomposting, permaculture, demonstrations of sustainable gardening best practices, agricultural food safety practices, and nutrition education, available for all aged residents of the North State. Each bed contributes to a cultural theme. Based on input from community members, a bed devoted to traditional Hmong or Latino foods has also been added to appeal and educate other ethnic groups. The Three Sisters Garden displays the Native American story about Sister Corn, Sister Beans, and Sister Squash, and how they grow symbiotically. The tall bed stands two feet tall and is more accessible for the elderly and physically handicapped individuals. The Hmong bed shows the important vegetables to the Hmong culture, including bok choy, daikon sprouts, and Thai basil. The Latino bed demonstrates how to grow vegetables specific to the Latino culture, including jalapenos and tomatillos. Hi, I'm Natalie, and I'm doing this as part of my community nutrition internship. And the best part of learning, or being in the garden is just learning all about gardening and all the different types of beds and all the different types of things it takes to grow a sustainable garden. We recently celebrated National Food Day by having a Gateway Gardens welcome event on October 22nd. It was a smash. More than 100 guests were greeted with fresh local food. A local watercolor artist had a fine art display of all things related to fruits and vegetables. The stellar musician created a fun ambiance. All produce cultivated from the garden is donated to local homeless shelters or a drop-in center for at-risk youth. This project is creating new and highly visible opportunities for civic engagement and service learning for high school and university students. Come visit the Garden Wednesday through Sunday from noon to 5 p.m. 